I've never been so glad for these cameras in my life. My body camera's on it. Hello, and thanks for joining us for another episode of PD Cam. I'm Sergeant Sean Sticks Larkin of the Tulsa PD Gang Unit. Okay, our first stop tonight involves both a helicopter camera and the body cam of a Baltimore officer who thinks he's identified a vehicle involved in a recent shooting spree. Hey, what's up, man? You've been through this once or twice, huh? Can you just open this up a little bit more? All right, do these open up? Yeah, what am I pulled over? Well, for one thing, you have blackout window tint. Yeah, that's the sign, Sean, that I got pulled over for. Right. I got medical condition for my, I got pulled over. What's your medical condition, my man? My, my, I got, I got like a little blind inside my eye. My eye can't take it. Yeah. Like. All right. And this is Officer Libby out of the Western. So I have a silver Lexus, or it might be. That silver Lexus they've been looking for, I don't know yet. It was for a shooting. He's valid, but the car reeks of weed, so I got my 1011 up here. I'm checking with homicide and citywide. I'm gonna pull him out, run through the car, do my whole bit. Come on, man, do your thing. Send for. This is great police work by this officer here. He's a patrol officer, and he's been paying attention to local bulletins of wanted subjects. He spotted this vehicle that might be connected to a shooting. Hey, sir. So listen, just gonna give you a heads up. Do me a favor, right now what I want you to do is I want you to turn the vehicle off and step out for me, okay? Hey. North down on Reisterstown, we're about to hit Gwen's Falls. Do you see Fox is up? Now the officer asked if Fox was up and what he's referring to is the Baltimore Police Department's helicopter unit. Now what's common in a lot of the police departments is once the helicopter gets overhead, they will actually call out the pursuit. That allows the officers on the ground to follow the car and just focused on driving. Be advised, the individual has a rifle in the vehicle. You guys need to pull back, pull back, and we'll just continue calling it. All right, still southbound on Rochestown Road. Um, and our box 09 is significantly slowed down. It's just a matter of the vehicle completely failing now. It's been smoking. It's coming to a, a complete stop at Gwen's Falls on Rochestown. The vehicle is stopped. Let's get some more units over there. Stop the vehicle. The vehicle is rolling. They have the suspect in custody. 1800 block of Gwen's Falls Parkway. Now the driver was charged with first and second degree murder, attempted first and second degree murder, various assault and weapons charges, and reckless endangerment. Luckily, no officers or civilians were injured during the chase or the arrest. Get on the ground right now. Next, it's off to Marshville, Wisconsin, where officers are chasing a stolen car. Now, they've been told by dispatch that the driver may have a weapon on him. Hands on the ground. I got him at gunpoint. What did I do? Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. What did I do? Do it. Let's get this figured out, then we'll talk. The officer at this point recognizes, hey, I've got a problem here. So he's keeping a safe distance from the suspect while he's waiting for other officers. Why? What's your name? Why? Because, man, we got to talk about the car. Okay? Don't come closer to me. Jane called the Get on the ground. Yes. Oh, my God. I know. The Jane he's referring to is the owner of the car. It turns out she didn't give him permission to take it. Right? We'll talk about it. We'll figure it out. Hey, hey. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. Get on the ground right now! Get on the ground! Hands up! Put your hands up! Get on the ground! Get on the ground!
This guy has repeatedly been told to get on the ground, but since he won't comply, they've deployed the taser for everybody's safety. Oh, I don't have anything, sir. Okay. Sir. Hey, man, we'll talk, all right? Dude, I... We'll get this figured out. Please, you guys. Come on, man, why are you doing this to me? I didn't do wrong. Can you be cool with us? No. All right. Two. To the P. Okay. What's it going to take for you to not hit your head? A phone call to your daughter later? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I did a break of promise to her. I never lied to my kids. The Marshfield Police Department was praised for the negotiation process and the use of restraint while taking down the suspect with a taser. The suspect was charged with auto theft and resisting arrest. Now let's go to Pasco County, Florida, where Deputy Nick Carmack and his canine partner, Shep, are in pursuit of a stolen SUV. They just racked into a full semi. One of the suspects took off, and Deputy Carmack is sending his dog ahead to stop him. Ooh. I'm just trying to get out of the car. I still on fire. Get up, get up. Sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, the reason Deputy Carmack is dragging the first suspect along with him is that he's still working without backup and doesn't want the guy to take off on him. Shit! K-13, I need air. Where are they? Shit! Get here! His canine partner, Shep, is further ahead, chasing down the second suspect in a car theft investigation. Oh. I'm up in a driveway. I'm chasing. I'm carrying one suspect. Let's go now on the ground. On the ground now. Now, if you look there in the distance, that's actually Shep holding one of the suspect's hands in his mouth. On your face now. I'm going to tase the out of you. Down. 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 Leave him down. Leave him down. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Down. Stay. On your face. On your face. Hey, mom. Yeah, I'm not trying to fight back with nothing, bro. Uh, good boy, Bob Ice. Good boy. That's my man, Bob. That was K-9 Shep from the Pasco County Sheriff's Office bringing home a successful arrest for his partner, Deputy Nick Carmack. The suspects were charged with stealing a vehicle and fleeing a law enforcement officer. Our next story takes us to the Isle of Wight in Virginia, where officers have pulled over a car for speeding. What's going on? What the man? What? What? Okay. What? The, what? what? Be quiet. Hello? You got your driver's license registration? Well, I ain't got nothing. What am I being pulled up for? I got my ass. Okay, you were doing 68. No, I was not. I was doing 60. Okay, I'm going to need your I'm gonna need your driver's license. You got to talk to somebody because I wasn't speeding. Ma'am, ma'am, don't make this harder than what it has to be. I wasn't speeding, bro. I'm going to need your driver's license. If you look there, there's a driver and a backseat passenger, but no front seat passenger. That initially, to me, is something very suspicious, especially if it's another adult in the backseat. We just switched seats. Can I see the radar? No, because I feel like you're a liar. No, ma'am. Let me tell you what's going to happen if you don't give me any ID. What? What's going to happen is you're going to go to jail for obstruction of justice, okay, all right? that's fine. I go to jail. I get a lawyer. It's okay. cool. I go to jail. You take me to jail. All right, come back here. No, I'm not coming to jail. Stay in the stop! car. Stop. 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 Come, stop. Come Maybe back here. Come on. We got her. I'm going to jail. I got it. I got I'm, 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 I'm back I'm here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Underneath that bag there, that's a handgun on the floor. 
that was right at the feet of the rear passenger. I'll go and do my part without my consent. Without my consent. Sergeant. So, okay, that's fine. I'm going to record everything. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Right where she was sitting. All right. I don't know what Let me talk. Miss Let me talk. I'll talk. I'll tell, I'll tell you everything. Hang this hang is my hang gun. Hang I promise you. I stole my bag. I just came back from my brother's funeral. Somebody stole it. Miss This is my gun. I promise. Miss Let me explain to you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. Let me call my lawyer. Let me call my lawyer. Yeah, well, it's your fault. I told you not to drive a five limit. Come on, let's go. Over here. It's your fault, dumb Let me up stop. To the right. Keep going all the way then to the right. The driver was charged with concealing a weapon, driving without a license, and speeding. Her friend, on the other hand, was only charged with disorderly conduct. This is PD Cam. Next up, let's go to Pinehurst, North Carolina, where officers have pulled over a driver for a traffic stop. Now remember, none of what you're about to see was shot by a professional camera. In addition to the body camera, this incident was also caught on the patrol car's dash cam. The officer actually touched the back of the car, and what that does is it leaves his fingerprints on the rear of the car. How's it going, man? Because you have a possible suspended license. Um, you have your driver's license on you? No, I do not. You don't have your driver's license on you? No. OK, what's your name? Um. Who, who, do you, who, who does it say is the Sir, fight? I'm not here to argue with you. Then the uh, get home driver's license? No, I don't. I'm not required by law to show you my identification. All right. All right. All right, bitch. Easy way to hard way. That's a threat, though, and I got your Easy camera. Easy way to hard way. Right. Hey, come on. Now, you can see him running the red light there on the right side of the screen, so the officers are now in a pursuit. That subject provides us on 911. He does not believe your real officer is attempting to stop, and that's why he has not stopped yet. They might want to advise him to pull up. Walk the car in and get him out of it. But if you notice there, he's using his blinker as he's driving. At least he's being courteous. The driver was hit with multiple charges, including driving with a revoked license, speeding, and eluding arrest with a motor vehicle. Our next story takes place in Glendale, Ohio, where Officer Josh Hilling has stopped a man for walking along the shoulder of I-75. Now, just to give you a heads up, this gets pretty intense. This any other way to go to Cincinnati, right? Uh, you can't walk on the highway. I'm sorry about that. So you got any ID on you? No, man. You don't have any ID? Where are you coming from? Uh, Dayton. You're coming from Dayton? Yeah. OK. Somebody was supposed to bring me out there, but she didn't be. OK, what's your name? Ja uh, Carlos. In Spanish for chats. Do you have a social security number? Do you have anything on you that tells you what who you are? Who you got in your backpack? Dirty clothes. All right, let's just set it down here. Seven King Eleven. I'll be southbound 75 at the 14 over nine. I'll be out with one subject that was walking. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Here, let's walk up to my cruiser real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have you place your uh, hands on the back of my cruiser. I'm going to pat you down for officer safety. Oh. I'm going to pat you down for officer safety.
Officer Hilling has just shot the suspect because he was threatening him with a very large knife. The suspect isn't getting down on the ground because the officer is telling him to. That's his body reacting to being shot in the torso. Stay down! Stay down! Stay down! Stay down! Stay down! Stay down! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! He's not listening to his commands, and in fact, he's telling the officer basically he wants to die. Do it. Do it. Seven King 11, one shot, subject shot only. Subject shot only in the abdomen. Still has a knife, not following any orders. Watch your gun, watch your gun. Look at the size of the knife in his hand. Drop the knife! Please drop the knife! Please drop the knife! Sir, please drop the knife! Don't do it! Drop the knife! Drop it! The suspect survived the shooting, and investigators later learned that he was wanted in connection to a stabbing death in Maryland. This quickly became a national story, and Officer Hilling is here to talk to us about it. Thanks for joining us, Josh. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Good, man. Now, how long have you been an officer? Now, when that happened, I had been a part-time police officer, but I had just been bumped up to full-time. So I was three months into my full-time career. Wow. Still on my first year of probation, so I was a complete wreck afterward. That scenario and that video that you just saw, um, that was the feeling of I could die here right now, right today. And you just bounce back to your training and hope it kicks in. Well, obviously your training was good. I mean, that's a, almost a textbook you know, way to handle that thing from everything from the pat down to your reaction and then getting that critical distance between you and him with the knife. Yeah, this happens so fast and so quick. Yeah, you can see the knife right there, and there's your shot, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. and honestly, even in that situation, the taser isn't the right application no. for how that thing no. happened that and way. And on top of that, I was like, he has a coat on. The yeah. chances of the taser working, and then it doesn't, then I'm screwed. Taser can't work in this situation. This is a life or death. And then towards the end here, I thought, you know, I was getting a little close to us running out of room, because at this point, now there's cars right behind us. Luckily, another officer made the quick decision. And that's the taser, taser there. Yeah. Well, and that's the difference. I mean, now he's got his coat off. Like you said, you didn't actually carry a taser at that point. Officer had a taser. They had a little more distance. You can hear your breathing. Man, that's your, uh, that's your silhouette you bent yeah. over there, huh? Catching my breath. His repeated statements, you know, kill me, kill me, kill me. I mean, do you think he was dead set that day on on having you do that you know essentially a suicide by cop i'm thinking his initial reason for attacking me was hey if i get a hold of this officer i can put him down and get out of here and that's knowing what i know now i obviously didn't know that he was wanted out of maryland and he was on the run right i do not know the particulars of the case up there okay. so it's still an open case and he still has to go on trial all right well josh man fantastic job that day uh, appreciate it glad you're still here with us today hey thank you so much i appreciate you having me all right that's it for this episode of PD Cam. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.